Hi, everybody. It's Matt the Middle. Mark finally picked up a Natan's Magic Ball shirt. Um, probably going to do a video on uh, where I got this shirt from. Um, it's a metal flea market. If you're interested in hearing about that, let me know. But today, I decided to do a album review. I don't think I've ever done this on this channel. Um, I think I did. I don't know if it was on this channel or my other channel where I reviewed Meshuggah's Immutable when it came out. Um, yeah, so I think that's the last one I remember. But this one really spoke to me, and I I thought I, I thought I needed to share it. So first of all, I want to shout out Black Metal Promotion. Being, that channel is amazing. I find so many new bands, so many different projects, and so many talents and musicians and artists that are on there that um, they put on their channel. And this is where I found this album. And um, yeah. So, um, today we're going to be talking about the album by the band, and mind you, I've never heard of this band before. This album was the first time I've heard of this band. I can't wait to check out their other release, um, and also the members that are involved in this project. I want to check out their other their main projects, too. So, I'm going to be talking about Misa Rara Lumenis and their album Otali. Okay, I don't speak French. Um, it's one of the languages I haven't really learned. But this is the album I want to talk about. If you see the cover, um, it kind of reminds... Okay, this probably sounds stupid because this is a uh, atmospheric black metal. But um, black metal promotion is also labeled it as... Um, I believe it was alt-rock alt or something like that. Which I kind of get because this kind of looks like... It kind of looks like um, Deftones' White Pony but a more awesome version of it. And that um, kind of sentiment is going to be kind of spread throughout uh, my review here. Anyway, some information about the band. They formed in 2008, and this is from Metal Archives. They formed in 2008 in uh, Montreal, Quebec. And it has members of Cri and Sombre Forêt. Okay, or Forêt. Okay, so... Um, yeah, can't wait to check out Gris and Sombre, Sombre Forêt. Okay, if um if there if this music is anything like their other projects, I'm definitely gonna love it. And now let's get into the album. Okay, so you're gonna be hear me sing a lot of repeating things because a lot of the songs um I don't want to say are are built the same because a lot of them have kind of the similar atmosphere, similar sounds and similar kind of um structure but to be all kind of hit differently okay so um the way i would describe this and this like i said some of these this point these points you're gonna hear me say overall throughout the whole record okay it's very emotional i would even say it's cathartic atmospheric black metal okay it is not you know guns blazing fire at all cylinders Marduk black metal, right? Or it's not even like um, you know, Emperor or Mayhem. It's not it's not that. Okay. This is very emotional, cathartic black metal. Okay. And some remnants, I would say, especially in the vocals, I would say is like Gadia. If you know Gadia, um, they're also very cathartic um black metal. Okay, but I feel like uh, here with um Misere, Misere Lumis, I would feel like it's a very it's more it's not just vocally emotional and cathartic because Gedia also has like um I can't remember is it Sal Salwe or um Laude where it's you know blast you know blasts and the, the it's very uh heavy, right? This is not it's not really that case because even Gedia can get very blasty and like that. So there's some of course there's blasts Blast beats through on this album, but it's not blast heavy, and it's not tremolo picking heavy. Okay, so that's the one thing that I kind of I would say is a little different. But the vocals instantly remind me of Gadia in terms of its pleading, its emotional, its again cathartic. The production is I would say it's it's huge, it's beautiful. You can hear everything, and one thing I also like is the bass is very prominent. You can hear the bass in some of the songs. You hear like the sliding of the bass and things like that. And um, 
Also, again, with everything, maybe with the exception of number four, uh, track four, because there's only five tracks on this album, the songs are emotional roller coasters. Okay. So starting with uh, track number one, again, and I'll speak French, so if my pronunciation is awful, uh, that's why. <laughs> so the first uh, uh, track is Noir Fave, Noir Fave, and it starts off with like this big opening. I don't know if it's a synth or it's the bass. is huge. You can right off the get go you hear how huge this production is, and just kind of this opening note, and then you hear the you hear some piano and you hear some strings, and it starts to build tension, and the guitars come in. It's very slow and it's brooding, and then um, once the vocals come in, and this is kind of like this that I'm seeing like similar pattern here, is like the the, the instruments are doing something. And then the vocals come in and the instruments kind of take a step back for a second and let the vocals kind of be in the forefront and be kind of a, the emotion that is needed for the um, these tracks. And all of them have some big instrumental hook. So right when the, the, when the vocalist is done, you, the issues come in and you just boom, you know, and stuff like that, which I love. Okay. So, and again, that also is throughout... These tracks, I guess, with the exception of number four, which is also, which actually is is an instrumental, okay. And then number two, uh, the track number two, the Song des Rêves, okay. Um, it's very spacey and um, there's a prominent bass and very melodic guitars. So like when I when I mentioned Deftones earlier, um, I'm not saying Deftone fans would love this, okay. I'm not saying that, especially the vocals, obviously. Not the same style, okay. But that I kind of get that very alt rocky kind of uh, genre um, that I saw on like again yeah, when Black Metal Promotion posted this album on their channel. Um, I kind of was wondering where that was going to be, and it's definitely in like the guitars and stuff like that, okay. And then especially when like the big instrumental hooks come in again, it's not tremolo picking, it's not. Um, blasts all the time. It's very just like you hear just kind of um, some chugs or you hear like power chords, just kind of stuff like that. So that's where I kind of see the alt rock uh, label. But again, would I like say that they're an alt rock band? Absolutely not. Okay. And again, it's it's very tension heavy in terms of the uh, whether it be in the instrumentation or in the vocals um all the songs are motion roller coaster so they you know it gets heavy and then it drops down and it's very slow and brooding and melodic and things like that and then the vocals come in and it's back up back to heavy again okay and then also um in number three this is where i feel like i could have um um one of my notes here in this number track number three is le fait le La Felia des Anges, okay, clean guitars, it's spacey, and honestly, if there was some clean vocals, I actually wouldn't have minded, I was actually kind of expecting clean vocals here, um, which again, if there was clean vocals, it would not have hindered the experience, because I was kind of expecting it, because the melody and the vibe seemed perfect for some cleans, but again, there, there's no clean vocals here, it's all very, um, I wouldn't say it's like the shriek, a typical black metal shriek. It's not a growl like death metal. It's just kind of yelling and pleading for what. Are, again, all the lyrics are in French, so I, I don't really know what he's talking about. But on me, uh, metal archives, it's it's, uh, it's like sadness, darkness um, that they're speaking of, which I get that, especially with the emotion. Like, like I don't need to understand French to know that whatever he, whatever he's talking about. It's um, it's some pretty emotional uh, stuff, okay. And uh, number four again is the instrumental, the couleur de, de la perte. Excuse me. Again, um, this one doesn't have that um, emotional roller coaster that I was talking about because there's no vocals here. It's an instrumental track, but this really allows the um, the strings. And again, you hear the bass. You hear the bass is very prominent. I would say in this track, you could probably hear the um, bass pretty little bit better than you hear the guitar. And again, it's not a bad thing because the guitar is doing kind of some um, slow, 
picking, building that atmosphere, building the uh, the space here. And you also get to hear the drum work. The drum work is probably the best instrument on this track. Um, you get to hear all the, the, the drum work, the cymbal work, and the toms and all that. It's awesome. And then lastly, um, number five, it's um, Ivenante Dolls, whatever. Okay, again, the piano was back. Some very somber piano and um, strings. Um, I was trying to find like a classical composer that I can think of that might it might sound like. Um, of course, I think of my favorites, like my favorites classical. Well, he's not classical, but classical in the terms of the classical era, like Beethoven and Mozart. But classical, we might think of classical like Chopin is the Romance era, but he's like classical in terms of like that style of music. Anyways, I sidetrack. Um, when I say it's like Chopin-esque, no, because, um, well, I'll say it's Chopin-esque in terms of emotion, right? Um, Chopin wrote some very emotional pieces, the Nocturnes and um, things like that. But I mean, his etudes are not as like, um, emotional, they're very obviously difficult, but you have strings, very somber, piano, very somber, and the instruments come sliding in. And again, no another thing that I love and it really catches my attention because some of these songs, uh, like for example, Noir Fall is 13 minutes, you got eight minute songs, you got 10 minute songs. The shortest uh track on here is number four, and it's under um, it's, under, it's definitely under the six minute mark, okay. You got some long songs and you need something to catch your attention. And these big instrumental hooks really get your attention. Like I said, I've listened to this album um, before. I, the first time I listened to it, just kind of listening to it, really enjoying it. Uh, the second time I listened to it was to write to write my notes down. Okay. And just every, every time it's just, it captures the big instrumental hook captures, captures you. And then, then everything comes down. And then it comes back up with pounding bass and the the bending notes you hear in this track, um the uh, Vinan de Os et Os, sorry. Um some bending notes. Again, it really goes back to emotion, tension, um cathartic. And then blast then this is where I hear again. Blasts are used very sparingly here, but Towards a lot of the, um, especially this track in particular, it's towards the end of like this, the song, you get like this big emotional, it's supposed to be like the, the release, right? And that's where the release comes in this part. You get the blast, your beautiful melodic leads. So um, I'm not sure who does guitar. I believe it's the vocalist, um, the vocalist who's doing, who's also playing guitar. And I believe he's, correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe he's one of the members. I think it's one member from Gris and two members from Sombre uh, Forêt. Sombre Forêt. Forêt. <laughs> yeah, French is, uh, yeah, not good for me. <laughs> um, so he, he's um, doing some beautiful melodic leads. And it, the album comes to a close with more somber piano and strings. Then the piano eventually drops out. And then you get some beautiful strings to close the album. Um, wow. I mean, absolutely beautiful record, beautiful album. I am so glad that the album art really is the one that caught my attention here. Again, I instantly thought of Deftones, Call Me Basic, whatever. But yeah, um, this is, this is an amazing album. And I think this is their first album in like over 10 years too. So um, I'm not sure if they tour a lot. I don't, again, I don't really know much about this band other than what I told you in the beginning. Um, but if they ever are around, um, definitely going to go see them. And I'm going to pick up, I'm going to buy a physical copy of their CD. Um, and then I'm going to buy the digital on Bandcamp. I'm going to support these guys. If they have a t-shirt, I'm going to get it. I loved, loved this album. And if any, if any of this sounds something you're into, please go check out this album. And hopefully you enjoy it, because I surely did.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you later.